Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, we will talk a little bit more about the W6 LVP amplified receive magnetic loop antenna from uh, of course this is a uh, antenna that I've been testing now for a few weeks and uh, my verdict is that it's a very very good antenna honestly it's very nice um, now here are a few details about the antenna okay we're gonna talk about it uh, in, in details so the W6 LVP loop that you see here, this is the antenna, is a amplified magnetic loop. And what it does is that it, of course, is an amplified shortwave, long wave, medium wave, and shortwave antenna. Um, the reason for these loops is that, first of all, it's relatively small uh, in the space needed to actually have it working. Um, so and set up so that means if you don't have you know any space the only place you could put an antenna maybe would be on a balcony outside or something like that and in some cases depending on the noise you have some people even have successfully used it indoors near near a window for example um, it's a good antenna for that because it doesn't take a lot of space so you might actually be able to shortwave or listen to shortwave and DX a little bit um, if you don't have space for you know long wires and stuff like that. Um, I've compared of course the loop to my sloper. I got a 75 feet sloper in my backyard and I have this loop uh, in the balcony in the front. Um, what I see as uh, performance is that as for signal strength so how strong the signals are it pretty much equals my sloper. That means if I've got an S6 signal on my sloper, I have that same signal pretty much S6 on the loop. But where the difference lies is that on that sloper, the noise floor is higher. That means the signal to noise ratio is different. So that S6 signal might be a little difficult to copy. But on the W6 LVP amplified antenna, that same signal becomes clearer. It's easier to understand. It's not a magic antenna. That means in certain circumstances with a lot of noise where you might live, it might actually not be a good antenna to own, uh, especially because it is expensive to get. You know, I mean, uh, you got you to gotta understand that you got to pay for this. It's, uh, in U.S. dollars, it's $250 with the power inserter. Um, so, of course, the ideal would be that you can maybe, uh, you know, test it out, but um, it's, it's not always the best option. Yet, here, in my conditions, there are difficult conditions and noisy conditions. It does improve on my shortwave listening, and especially on the lower frequencies, it's just amazing. And I'm very, very happy to actually have purchased it. One thing you gotta rem you gotta know also about this loop antenna is it's an amplified antenna. That means that it could overload. Now, not on shortwave signals, but one of the things that you might need to add, and that adds sixty nine dollars to the price, and that's what I had to add here, is uh, low pass and high pass filters. That means if you live near very strong medium wave stations or AM radio stations or very uh, strong FM stations, this antenna might overload and actually it might not be a good experience. So if that is the case, you might need to add these filters. Now the good thing is, these um, if, if you add these filters and you do have problems with overload, these filters are very good. Uh, they really attenuate the signals and I've had no trace of overloading of any AM or FM stations on shortwave uh, using of course the filters. So uh, where do these filters uh, actually um, uh, install? Well actually they're built in. So you see the loop here? There's this box. So the standard loop comes with just an amplification circuit that is powered and that's it. In my version I have the uh, low and high pass filters that are built in. So I got a box that's bigger because it has more electronic circuit in it to block the different signals that could overload the antenna. So it's built in and there's no way to disconnect them. It's built in and you gotta live with it. That means if you do need 
these low or high pass filters because of very strong stations near you you're also blocking yourself especially if you're having that filter for the lower bands uh, you're blocking yourself from DXing medium wave and long wave so that could be something that you need to think about if of course you live in an area where there's no real strong AM FM stations no problem you can actually just take the stock antenna and it works well but I'm uh, very happy honestly it uh, does bring back a little more short wave and uh, I think it's uh, it's nice because it made me listen more to the radio because I do get more signals um, you know not necessarily that I get more signals that I couldn't get before it's more that the signals that were there before were pretty much washed out in the noise where now they're actually brought up to a point where I can actually listen to them so that's the good part of this antenna so it does really well what it's designed to do and I'm personally very very happy uh, with this loop antenna so if you're wondering uh, what to get as an antenna you don't have a lot of space you can't really put the long wire out this could be an interesting um, an interesting antenna for you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching